Over 100 people have reportedly been killed as police crack down on demonstrators opposing reservations in government jobs in Bangladesh. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's government imposed a nationwide curfew on Friday. She also ordered the deployment of military forces to maintain order. Amid the violence, several Indian students have returned home through the border in the northeast. About 80 odd medical students took a six hour journey on Friday in private taxis escorted by security to the border between Bangladesh and West Bengal. Meghalaya, which too shares a border with Bangladesh, is also helping to evacuate people with officials, saying more than 350 students from India, Nepal and Bhutan have entered through this route so far. The Ministry of External Affairs has urged the family members of Indian nationals to keep, the, to keep in touch with the Indian High Commission in Bangladesh. It said on Friday that all Indians were safe in the neighbouring nation. In an advisory, the, the MEA also urged its citizens in Bangladesh to minimise movement outside their residences. As per Foreign Ministry, around 8,500 Indians are studying in Bangladesh, many of them pursuing medicine. Uh, as you are aware, there is uh, an unrest, there, is pro there are protests which are happening there. Um, we have around 8,500 students and somewhere around 15,000 Indian nationals resident in the country. We have issued a travel advisory uh, for people to uh, be in touch with the High Commission and for us to render any assistance that they may need. External Affairs Minister is himself monitoring the situation. The High Commission will be giving regular updates on the situation there. We will also be giving regular updates and we urge all family members of Indian nationals uh, who reside in Bangladesh to be in touch, follow us for regular updates. We remain committed to provide all possible assistance to